This is the first time that Beverly and I have actually come from the sea across the Rock Channel. We've done... Uh, that's not quite true. It's the first time we've done it on our own boat. We did it on the Diva. Yes. No, we didn't. We went through the Rock Channel out on Diva and then we came through the... No, we didn't. We came back through that. I think so. Well, anyway, there's a debate. This is definitely the first time in our boat. What it is, it's a set of drying sands that drive to about four metres height, which under normal circumstances would be absolutely dreadful to attempt. But this is Liverpool, and we've been neat tied today, which has got about a six metre range. Mm. So providing you have a Samuel Soidal Tidal Kev, half tide is roughly in the same place. So, at so Liverpool, that means five metres. It does, 5 metres. 4.8 to be very precise, but there you go. <laughs> but yeah, 5 metres. So, uh, as long as we come in after half tide, we'll have more than enough metre clearance to go over these 4 metre drying sands. And we need to go over the 4 metre bit. We? No, we're not going to go over. We're going over the... 1 metre bit. We're going over the 1 metre bit. So we easily got what? A few four meters of tide. Yeah, it just means you can't stray too much. No, you can't. You've got to keep to the channel. Um, we did a video on going over the rock channel, and um, that's got all the waypoints if you need them. Um, they they don't change much, but also Liverpool Yacht Club has the up-to-date waypoints just in case the because the sands like anywhere the sands will shift. Other than that it's been an incredibly quiet quiet passage. I've done the washing up. Oof. I would have but we have seen a dolphin. No but you missed him. He was right beside us. Oh right apparently I'm missing him. A wet dog right beside us. Oh it's a seal. So he was a seal right beside us. He was watching me the whole time I was pointing at him. So, That's the closest I've seen one for quite a long time. So we have had a, a few animals like uh, seals, porpoises, dolphins, and dolphins, but they've been a good distance off, so nothing that will come up on camera, I'm afraid. But at least they're starting to appear again. This uh, rock channel is the leading line is very easy to see. The kind people of Wallasey built two large buildings on a dome on a hill and lined them up on the leading line for us. Hey. Lovely people. I know. So you know, you just have the the, the dome centred between the um, large buildings, and you're sorted. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we're um, progressing. You've got to watch out for the three wrecks on this side though. Yeah, um, but those wrecks are an artefact. It's not that people have actually sunk. These were actually sunk purposely, uh, these wrecks, because um, at one time or other they wanted to bar uh, access via this method. So uh, they just went round and um, sunk a load of ships and um, they're still there. Well, we just crossed the line. Um, we are in an area the chart says it's half a metre of depth. And we've got seven under our keel, which is two metres down. So we've got nine metres from the surface to the bottom. Mm. Well, I can live with that. <laughs> the area we're about to transit is one metre drying sands. The areas out the side of us are four and five, sorry, three metres and four metres drying sands. But, I mean, with seven metres under the keel, I could probably go straight over them if I wanted to, but no, nope, we are sticking to the marked channel, or the rather, the unmarked channel, because there's no voyage out here. Mm. Um, even though we've got more depth here, uh, because it's um, unmarked, it is a little bit more scary than um, going over 
going over um, Carnarvon Bar, isn't it, Bert? Yes, Carnarvon Bar, you stick, you stick as close as you can to the voyage and you should be okay. Yes, this is the same. <coughs> it's plus or minus three. Uh, however, we've got no markings. We're following uh, our track and our GPS and we'll share it in our blog like we normally do. Um, and, uh, what can we say? Yeah, it's a bit scary but realistically as long as you keep to the channel you're fine. Let's um, say that again when we're in the mercy. Okay, so... <laughs> we are now crossing the zero line. We are now going from depth on the chart down to drying sand. And um, we've just crossed that. We now have 5.9 metres under the keel. Nine. Just there. I don't know if that's coming out on camera. Yeah. But... So we've made it back to Liverpool. We certainly have and uh, we're going to try and make this into an opportunity, no idea how, but um, we've got a little bit of a rattle on our engine um, so we're going to have to take the uh, lift the boat uh, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow but today it means that we've got to take all the sails off and all that sort of stuff but the first thing we've got to do is we've got to put some sun can lotion on because honest to goodness, we're going to cook out there today. So now that we're lifting the boat out, the weather is scorching. Absolutely. On the plus side though, scorching weather generally doesn't have a lot of wind. It doesn't. And, you know, our trip here, no wind whatsoever. That was pretty scorching. And it was too hot for never mind. We're here, so we're going to get the sails down today and get everything ready for going in the yard tomorrow.
um, taking the sail deck went down a lot better than we've done previously. Uh, what we decided to do this time was we decided to leave the battens in the sail and then once we got it down we flaked it and we put it back in the sail bag and uh, it means that the sail is protected, it's on deck and it will also be a lot less work later because doing the battens is a really really difficult job and we've lost nuts before now um, but um, yeah we just made our life easier and hopefully it'll be easier putting it up on up as well but it's certainly easier getting it down so now let's get the Genoa down Yes, well deserved. Oh, I'll take that one and I'll not take that one. Well, we've done the sales, so that uh, deserves a well deserved copy. We do have the dinghy to get down, um, but as far as the day is concerned, we're happy enough with what we've done. We've achieved our objectives. Yeah, try and just do one boat a job a day. Getting, I always feel like I'm taking the roof off. I know that sounds a bit weird, but that's just the way I feel about taking our sails down. But yeah, we've taken the roof off, so... Sail of me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 